809 now where they visited Korea, Japan, Guam, and even Saipan. And this wasn't an ordinary cruise, but a training voyage for cadets. Their ship now docked in Hawaii. Two of the students are here along with the captain. Coming up, they're going to talk about their maritime adventures. Stick around. You're watching Sunrise on K5. Training ship Golden Bear arrived in Hawaii this week with more than 250 California Maritime Academy students on board. The two-month voyage is just part of the four-year university experience. Join me now, Cadets Harry Sprague and Sheena Pearl, and Captain Harry Bolton, the commanding officer. Good morning to all of you. Good morning. Mm. Let me start with you. How did you become interested in attending the academy? Well, I uh, graduated from Legendary Academy, and I knew a couple students from there who went to uh, Cal Maritime, and they kind of gave me the idea. And then, uh, with help from my college counselor, it kind of pointed me in the right direction. I ended up getting a tour uh, at the uh, academy and campus, and that was what sold me. <laughs> the mm -hmm. campus is really nice. The ship was docked right, out, right there in front, and uh, that was it. <laughs> I know, Shana, the, that women make up about 20% of the student body on campus, and you were actually the senior cadet officer on this voyage. <laughs> How do you learn to handle all that responsibility? It's one of the things that the school provides are, are the opportunities and the tools to step up and, and you know, fill that role. And it, I was scared at first, but you kind of just learn to adapt, and it was an amazing experience. Mm -hmm. And, Captain, what is it like you and your staff sort of have more of a hands-off role? Because this is a student-operated ship. That must be a little nerve-wracking for <laughs> you, like a proud parent, perhaps? Yeah, I think proud parent is it. Uh, I went to the academy myself, so it's great being back, and I spent a long time at sea. Uh, so... It, it's, it's about giving back, but it's also about watching these uh, cadets mature and, and take the responsibility to operate a 500-foot ship. And they do every single part of it, whether it's engineering or, or actually ship handling, uh, all the cleaning, everything that happens on the ship, they run. I, I worked very closely with these two. Uh, through the, the entire two months, and they did a fantastic job. And this is stuff you just can't pick up in a classroom setting, right? Well, you learn it in the classroom, and then you practice it on the ship. It's a, it's a fantastic environment. It's very unusual. Um, we'd like to say that, that uh, our cadets are, uh, and they're also students, uh, are far more mature and, and uh, have to take on responsibility that other, the other people their age do not. Mm -hmm. What about the tour opportunities for people who might be thinking they might want to join the academy? But tomorrow, starting at 9 o'clock, uh, we will uh, welcome anybody that wants to come down and see our fantastic uh, operation. Down. We're down at Aloha Tower. Uh, the ship's a beautiful, white, 500-foot ship, and uh, we'd love to show you around. We also want to mention there is a fundraiser for the Damon Li David Lyman Scholarship tonight at Aloha Tower from 5 to 9. Uh, the fund helps to provide financial assistance for students from Hawaii interested in maritime careers. Thanks to all of you yeah. for coming yeah. in so Thank bright you. and early this morning. <laughs> and for now, Dan and Grace, back to you at the desk. Great story, Lisa. Thank you very much. Uh, it is 816. Thanks for making us a part of your morning. It is 706. After a two-month voyage, a training ship is now docked in Honolulu. And some cadets from Hawaii arrived on the vessel. One of them is here along with a harbor pilot who attended the academy. They're going to tell us about a fundraiser to help students interested in maritime careers when we come back. Good morning. The training ship Golden Bear arrived in Honolulu this week, carrying nearly 260 California Maritime Academy cadets. Ten of the students are from Hawaii. Joining me now, Kavai Kekaula, a Kahuku High graduate, and Captain Ed Enos, a Honolulu Harbor pilot who attended the academy. Good morning to both of you. Good morning. Kavai, you said you're just happy to be home eating Hawaiian food again. <laughs> but what did you learn when you were at sea? We learned about diesel engines. We also did circuitry. Uh, we did plumbing work, so we learned a lot about the industry and also about the engineering that you know I chose to go down to. So. And you had a chance to visit some uh, t ports in Asia. Absolutely. We went to Guam, Saipan, we went to Korea and Japan. And how is this going to help you with your uh, maritime career in the future? Um, hopefully it teaches me about that, uh, like I said before, the industry and also how to fix things and also put things back together. So that's an important part. You actually received a special scholarship with, to help you with your tuition. What was that about? Absolutely. It was a David Lehman scholarship. Uh, it was a big help to me and assistance. I don't think if I didn't get this scholarship, I wouldn't think I'll be at California Maritime Academy. It was an excellent opportunity. And, and, of course, David Lyman, a well-known figure um, among harbor pilots. Can you, there's a fundraiser tonight that's also going to be going on. Yeah, big fundraiser at Aloha Tower tonight. We have over, gosh, 270 people, pretty much full house. Um, but we, we won't turn people away, but uh, we're getting a lot of huge support from the local maritime industry, a lot of individuals, a lot of alumni, a lot of people, just friends and acquaintances, that new day from the yacht clubs and, and everywhere here in Hawaii. Um, 
big turnout, and we're really happy. A lot of great financial support to help you know guys like Kawhi and this year's winner. Kawhi won last year. Uh, this year's winner is a, a young lady from Kailua, uh, Aloha Yoza. She'll be there. We'll introduce both of them because a lot of people haven't met Kawhi yet because uh, we didn't have our fundraiser last year. So it's a little exciting for everybody who's attending tonight, too. And there's a chance for students uh, like Kawhi who are interested in touring the ship. Yes. On Thursday morning, uh, for those parents and students uh, who would like to come down to the California Maritime Academy ship, the tra uh, train ship Golden Bear at Aloha Tower, Thursday morning from 9 a.m. to 11 a.m., uh, you'll get a guided tour, uh, see, you know, and experience what Kauai has uh, been doing the last uh, two months, and, uh, and get familiar and meet some of the other students, some of the faculty and staff on board as well. All right, Ed, Kavai, thank you so much for coming in this morning and sharing your experiences. Again, that fundraiser is tonight. And for now, Stephen Grace, back to you at the desk. That's a new site at Honolulu Harbor. Details on the Golden Bear and what its cadets are doing and while they're in port. Well, nearly 260 cadets docked at the Aloha Tower Cruise Terminal this morning. It's all part of the California Maritime Academy's two-month training program. The Golden Bear began its journey in Vallejo, California in early May and stopped in Korea, Japan, Guam, and Saipan before its final destination in Honolulu. Cadets on board got trained in engineering and international business operations. Ten of those cadets are from Hawaii. And out here we get the hands-on real-world experience firsthand. And that's what, that's what makes the Cal Maritime Academy so special. Oh, what a great experience for those kids. Golden Bear will be in port until Friday, and from here it heads off to Asia.